All right, so this is just a quick video about uh, a little trick that I uh, came up with to uh, place uh, brake shoes on the girling system, um, the girling type uh, rear brakes of a uh, Jensen Healy. I think they were only on the earlier models. Later, later ones got the Lockheed. So this is only for the girling. So um, one of the things that I realized was that in all the technical schematics that these uh, return springs, there's a, a really long one up at the top that's continuous, and there's one on the bottom here that's uh, broken up. It's got a little relief here for the clear the uh, end of the uh, wheel cylinder. And uh, the problem is that you'll notice here that these springs are in the back of the shoes, not in the front. So if you're trying to get this spring on, um, very easy to get it in from the front. You would just clip it over on this side and then take uh, one of those uh, uh, brake drum tools and just compress it and snap it over here. They're also very easy to get off. You just hammer the edge of this off with like a, a screwdriver and it just snaps right off. But how the hell do you get them on? I mean, you can't get anything underneath there. You could maybe try to take a pair of pliers and grab a hold of the spring and try to pull it apart, but it's very difficult. So all the uh, technical diagrams in the manual show that it goes in the back. Um, when I took the, uh, uh, the drum off, they were in the back. So I think they need to go in the back. I don't think you can put them in the front. So what I ended up uh, thinking about doing was um, just kind of trying to expand these shoes across so I can uh, just expand them and then clip them on. And I couldn't figure out how to do that until I basically just modified one of these. Uh, these are just these clamps that you get at like Home Depot. And uh, what I ended up doing is usually these clamps are the opposite way. They face inward so you can clamp something together. But I've seen carpenters switch these around. There's just a little screw right here. You take that out. You can flip the direction of the jaw. And then over here, there's a little uh, uh, pin that I actually just ground down. It's, that's just so that this, uh, this part of the, the clamp doesn't fall off. But... Who cares? This is now a custom tool. So now it's an expander. See, when I ratchet it, it expands. And this is actually a great idea for any kind of uh, job that you have like this where you want to take two shoes where the springs are in the behind the shoes and get them to clip on. So I'll do that uh, real quick here. Let me just set up the camera. All right, so what I've done here is I've just laid down the uh, brake shoes with the... Uh springs in place in the rear position you just lay them over the top here they obviously are not going to fit because they're not expanded enough i'm going to take my uh nifty tool here try to do this one-handed it's going to come in here and catch the inside lip of each one of these brake shoes i to make sure it's not too far down here. Just want to get the, the the lip, and then just gradually, slowly expand them out. Make sure that the uh, uh, your parking brake lever is through this little hole, and you're just going to gradually expand these out. I'll start up at the top here. Again, this is just hard to do one-handed. A lot easier to do two-handed. Go ahead and make sure that these click into place. 
just kind of go slowly and what you'll do is uh make sure that it's also in the right position on the bottom here and then when you're ready just slowly or quickly um, make sure that the pads just snap right in there excuse me the shoes just snap right in there and it didn't work quite right so I got them okay up, up top here eh, maybe not let's take a look yeah they're a little off up here there we go snaps right in place and uh, looks like at the bottom they just need to be walked down a little bit But if there's any kind of an issue, looks like there is a little bit of an issue down here. Give this a tap. Okay, that doesn't sound very good. But I'll just take my uh, expander here one more time. my expander here and just reposition this lower shoe here what I'm trying to do is just get this uh, land right here so that it matches up with um, the uh, the piston on the wheel cylinder so Trying to find an angle here that'll work. There we go. And now I will release the pressure one more time. And there we go. Nope. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So let's just make these sure that um, the wheel cylinder and the pad is lined up there. That's riding correctly. And then up here, looks like the last thing I need to do. See so yeah, how this top part here is not quite in there. I'll just snap it in place. Bam. Okay. So that was a lot harder to do because of uh, not having two hands. So um, it's very easy to do if you have two hands. <laughs> and that's a great, easy way to um, install these uh, brake shoes without grabbing some kind of a screwdriver and ramming it in there or manhandling it or something. And uh, yeah, this is about five bucks. So probably work on a lot of other uh, applications too. All right. What do you think, Bubba? Yeah. Bubba approves. <laughs>